Hi guys. All right, so we are going to be showing you a new recipe that is in the um, fall and winter new catalog. Our um, season's best has always our top 10 new recipes in it. And we are gonna be sharing you, sharing with you the chicken, how did we say it? Dive on, dive on. So, all right, so it's gonna be a casserole type dish and we are gonna be using the new cast iron pan. It's 10 by 14 and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's enameled cast iron, so it goes along with our enameled cast iron line that came out last season. These are gonna be new pieces to it. We have two and we're gonna showcase one of them today. We're not gonna be using the rack, but it does come with a rack that slips right down into it. So if you guys wanna do like a turkey or a ham, it holds up to 15 pounds, which is amazing. You would put that rack right down in and you would put um, your meat right on top of that rack. So we're gonna get right into this. So we are gonna show you uh, the, first, the first step. So we're gonna be using one of our new mixing bowls, which is beautiful. We, we love, love it. it. We love it. <laughs> All right, so you wanna kind of tell them what you're doing first? Um, oh, and I will let you know, I'm using a lot of like healthier substitutes just the way I eat. So if it will get eaten in my house and I, it doesn't get a waste, I use a lot of different substitutes. So I kind of talk about that as we show you guys them. Okay, do you want me pour in the broth just because it's a little heavy? I wanna help you. Okay, so here is four cups of broth. This is what we're using first. It calls for chicken broth. Um, you wanna help me? Yeah. I just use chicken, I use bone broth, pretty much the same thing. Um, I actually think that bone broth gives it a better taste, but that's just my opinion. We used our adjustable measuring cups. If you're Last looking, fingers. sorry, did it get on you? Um, if yeah. you look at this flat down, you can see like the milk's in it. You can read everything eye level, so it makes it really, really easy to measure out stuff. So we're doing four cups of broth. We're doing a cup of mayonnaise, which I am using. I'll show you guys if you wanna. I don't, I don't like mayonnaise. Yeah, I didn't figure you'd wanna put it in. It's a little messy. Here's one cup. And I am actually using our one cup prep bowls. You come with a lid and it comes six to a set. They're probably one of my most used products. Um, they come one cup, two cup, and three cup. The two and three cup come in a set of two. The one cup cut come in a set of one. Okay, you wanna put, so instead, of, oh, I'll show you this one thing about it. So instead of just basic mayonnaise, I use uh, this Primal Kitchen. It's a mayo with avocado oil. This is the mayonnaise that I use. It's a healthier option. If you're not Mayonnaise into that, stick with regular. Into. It's sinking in, yeah, that's good. So it calls for one and a half cup of sour cream. I'm using coconut milk, which I had put in my refrigerator to make it. it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted to actually do that. I thought you were like grossed out by some of this stuff. Okay, I'm doing a A teaspoon of paprika. You can put it in. There we go. All oh, right. there's some more in there. And then it calls for a half cup of milk. milk. I'm using oat milk. Oh, so milk. We love oat milk up in this house, huh? Mm-hmm. There we go. And okay. the oat milk I use, that was with the Silk, Silk brand, Full Fat. It is my favorite. Some of them aren't that great, but that one is really good. My girls even use it in their cereal. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like regular milk. Tastes like regular milk. So, we love it. All right, so garlic. now, oh yeah, yeah. Garlic. Almost forgot. Garlic. Almost. This is our garlic press. It is garlic. amazing. Garlic. You don't have to peel it, so that I'm glad you asked. So with our garlic press, you do not have to peel. It does come with a little tool, but when we moved back in December. It broke. No, it didn't break. I just think I lost it. I kept it up on my sink and um, I just think that I either left it there or lost in a box. I mean, we're still unpacking mm -hmm. stuff. I just found, I finally found those two pound weights. My turn. Yep, you wanna try? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna press down on this one. Sorry, I said I must get the knife. <laughs> Swinging the knife around. There you go. Is that mm -hmm. <laughs> hard? Right. It is hard. Ooh. Okay, give me that last piece of garlic. So we're doing four garlic cloves and then we're gonna mix this all together. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Mommy, it has nice and Okay, I'm trying not to. And it says to whisk this, so 
we're going to we're try. We're going to try that. All right, go for it. And we have Hey, hey, don't talk about it yet. Let's do it. I was not going to tell them what it was. Okay. I was going to tell them we have something. That was a bit... I may not do it yet just to save, so... It smells... Smells? Really bad. It smells really bad. So why, why isn't it skin, whisking? I can't talk. I'm going to move this over here so you keep doing that. And I am going to start putting in this I stuff in the pan. Okay, well, you need to whisk that so we can kind of do that. What is, like, is it going to... Easy, honey. I don't want you to go over... All right, so we're gonna do one pound of pasta. Like I said, I'm using some healthy recipe uh, substitutions. So this is what I'm using. It's a gluten-free pasta, and it is a brown rice. I love this brand. I don't think you can tell. I don't know. I've been eating this kind of way for a really long time, so I never feel like you. It's a big difference, but some Mommy, people may think that. Good. Yep, that's good. It looks like puke. Well, please don't say that. That's really rude. All right, here. Oh, that's really loud. All right, so we're gonna put the pasta in, and then what's next? What do you remember? Chicken. Chicken. All right. Chicken. This is one of our coating trays. This is really good. Uh, it comes in a set of three. If you guys are coating something, I just pulled it out. I just love that because it's like deep and wide, and I can cut up my chicken right here. I used our shears and I cut these up into. They were chicken tenders, one pound. I cut them up in one inch pieces, so so you don't have to touch any of the chicken. I'm gonna put it right on. Actually, I'm gonna get a tong. And actually, I have a tongue. Out. I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. So I'm just going to. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not touching that chicken. Well, this is our pasta tongue. This isn't really like ideal, but it still works. We have some awesome tongs. We have our small and large. What are the um, small ones? I, I think they're all dirty. The chef tongs that are amazing. Um, and then we actually have a tongue that comes with those coating trays that are perfect size too. That's, I think that's good enough. All right, so next we're going cheese. to add, not cheese yet. Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. Broccoli. Let me make sure. Let's put it on this. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese goes on last. So I'm just using this frozen broccoli. The whole thing? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, just kind of sprinkle it on all over it. Okay, here, do you want to do this? Uh -huh. And then you can sprinkle the cheese on. We're doing just one cup of cheese right now. One cup. Now it smells good. The cheese, <laughs> the cheese smells good. All right, so I will say my mixture is probably gonna look a little bit different if you're not using substitutes because the sour cream probably is going to um, mix into it a little bit better than the coconut milk, which is fine. It's just kind of like not um, settling as much as um, sour cream would. Okay, now we are going to pour like strawberry cake. <laughs> the mixture mm -hmm. that we did earlier right over it. <laughs> and see some of that <laughs> coconut, milk. coconut milk there's a little bit smash it's just it. yeah i'm just gonna smash that that's just what happens sometimes and honestly i use i put it in the refrigerator to make it more cream it might be fine to just keep it and not have it get that way so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover this with foil and I'm gonna put this on 425 in the oven for 25 minutes. All right, so that is the last step. I just took this out of the oven. I'm gonna uncover and take the foil off. What is that? Yeah, so this has been cooking for 25 minutes. What we're gonna do? It is bubbling stuff. Yeah. And you can probably see it's See the steam. We're gonna put the rest of the cheese. We're gonna sprinkle that on. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I mean, I it's kind of hot. I didn't do anything. You can you can hop up here. It's a little hot, so I don't want you to hurt yourself. Move this a little bit closer. Don't touch that because it's super hot. 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 I don't want you to touch hot. it. You want to kill? I want to do it. That's fine. That's fine. Careful. 
out. Okay. All right, we're gonna do the rest of the cheese on here. So I just used a regular, like one bag of cheese. And then we mixed in here, again, I substituted the butter for the ghee. So I used clarified butter. And then we put, and I used gluten-free panko and a little bit of seasoning. So we're just going to, this is kind of like our, okay babe. Love you guys. Put these on the top and I'm gonna put this back in the oven for uncovered 15 for 15 minutes. minutes. This is the finished product. It looks so good. Um, it's for 12 servings. And this is the 10 by 14 cast iron uh, enameled pan.